so in this session we talk about the integral wind up issue to understand the problem let's take a look at a simple tank example but the objective is to maintain the level of liquid in the tank by manipulating the inlet flow so the output is the level input is the inlet flow and the disturbance is the second outlet from the tank now to describe the concept let's look at these scenarios at instant zero everything has a steady value and from zero to one the level the valve opening the, the disturbance and error everything has a steady value now at instant one a disturbance enters into the process meaning that say the second outlet is changed increased and when this increased the level is going to decrease so that's what's happening the level start to decrease so when the level is start to decrease the error signal we see that the error signal keeps on increasing and the controller is start working on so it's calculating that the some control action needs to be taken and the valve is start to open okay now for this current scenario this disturbance having a magnitude such that even for the 100 percent opening of the valve the level cannot be maintained at the desired value so when that's the situation so the controller is calculating what should be the valve opening and it goes beyond 100 percent now when it goes to 100 percent the valve saturates the valve cannot move any further so it remains at the 100 percent value however the controller is calculating that there is a persistent error so due to the integral action in the controller the control output is nothing but the area under the curve and we see that the area keeps on increasing because there is a persistent error so the control action is being calculated beyond 100 percent and it's keep on increasing you see because of a constant value of the error it's increasing due to the con integral action it's increasing continuously and it goes say a value suppose 200 percent now this is not practically possible to implement however the controller output remains at that value but the valve saturates and it still remains at 100 percent open okay now at instant three what happens that the disturbance again changes now the outlet flow has been changed or it has been reduced to this value now because of this when the output has been reduced the controller should take some action okay now you see the output has been reduced and because of that the input is start to increase so it's going beyond the set point value now you see here the controller is not taking any action so the control action remains constant why is this simply because the due to the integral action the controller is calculating that the valve opening should be 200 percent now when there is an error so error now is decreasing and we see that error becomes negative and only when there is a negative area the control action is start to change okay so because it cal it was calculating to be 200 percent and then until a point four it becomes 100 percent and then after that it becomes less the controller remains at its 100 percent value because anything beyond 100 percent is 100 percent for the controller okay so in theoretical mathematical calculation the controller is calculating a valve opening more than 100 percent so it went to 200 percent and it did not change below 100 percent until there is a negative error okay so and at this point when it becomes 100 percent or less only then controller start to decrease opening the valve and only then the output start to change and that it goes to its desired value or the set point okay now this is what is called this wind up situation meaning that when the valve saturates still controller is still keep on calculating the control action which is go which goes beyond the 100 percent value and if if that happens the control action does not change 
until it comes back to this 100% value, meaning until there is a negative error taking place. Okay, so that's the main issue this integral wind up. So between this range 3 and 4, at 3 when the disturbance changed, the control action was supposed to change to make the valve opening to reduce to bring the process back to the set point. However, that did not happen simply because the theoretical calculation was beyond 100%. So this is the concept of what is called this integral wind up and it happens because the integral action keeps on increasing when there is a persistent error. So how to get rid of this integral wind up situation is that when the controller calculates the control action beyond the physically realizable value for this case suppose this 100% of the valve opening the integral action is turned off. So to get rid of the integral wind up at point 2 the integral action should be turned off. To get rid of this wind up meaning if they stand off the value remains at 100 percent so in that scenario only in that scenario what would happen that whenever the disturbance moves in the opposite direction the controller would be able to take some action and in that case the valve would start closing at point three and would get something like this and in that case the output would not go beyond this desired value and stay there rather it would be stabilized around this point okay so this is the concept of integral wind up and this is the concept how to get rid of this integral wind up for this PI controller. Now let's try to simulate the situation in Loop Pro. So we consider this two tank process uh, where the disturbance is the second outlet from the second tank. So we have created a scenario where the level is near the top and the controller is around like 91%. So the PI controller is set applied for this case without this empty reset, meaning that the wind up may take place for this controller. Now, if at some point the disturbance changes from two to five, we see that the control action goes to 100% quite quickly. Still, the value of the output is not at the desired value, meaning that we have the set point to be at seven. However, the value is much below the set point. Now, the error continues to persist, and that's why when there will be a change in the disturbance, the controller will not be able to take the action to bring the process back to the set point. So let's look at this. So now, the error changes to two, However, the controller remains at 100% and the output goes beyond the set point value. And the controller is doing nothing for this case because due to the integral action, we have this value to more than 100%. So it took this time to come back below 100% and then only the controller takes the action and then the process comes to the desired value. Now let's see if we apply the integral control with what is called this anti-reset windup. For this case, if we apply the control now, if the value changes from two to five, we see that for this case as well, because the valve saturates, the control action is at 100%. So the valve cannot open beyond 100% and there's a persistent error. However, if you see that if the disturbance changes back to its previous value or beyond that value, we'll see that what happens. So the controller immediately took action to get the process to the desired value. 
Now this happened because for this case, the integral control is with the entity reset wind up, meaning that when the controller saturated, the integral action was turned off. So the maximum integral action was 100%. So whenever the disturbance changes to the previous value, when the controller can maintain it at the desired value, the controller took action and the process was brought back to the desired value quickly. So now if you compare these two scenarios here, we see that the far, for the first case, without any entry reset wind up, the controller wind up and it took really this long time for the controller to take any action. But with this entry reset wind up, integral action was turned off when the valve saturated so that the controller can take action as soon as there is a change in the other direction.